Poco, the companion that connects you to wellness. Our health tracking technology aims to improve your well-being by suggesting personalised activities that can help make the most out of your day. We can detect when you're caffeinated, stressed, have consumed alcohol and even when your cat is interfering with your day. Take Gabriel and his cat Pickle. He downloaded Coco to help manage stress levels after a hypertension diagnosis. As an author, he spent a lot of time working in coffee shops, writing his latest novel. After using Coco, he noticed that he was often more stressed when working in the coffee shop and decided to follow Coco's advice to work from home. Now that he was working from home, he could use Coco's IoT integration technology to automatically increase heating and decrease his stress, as well as increase his bills and headaches from the caffeine withdrawal. This also meant he could spend more time with Pickle and see the impact he had on his heart every time he brought home a new friend. Worried about his health, Gabrielle put Pickle up for adoption leaving him warm, lonely and with hourly headaches, free to work on his book, all thanks to Coco. Context aware wearables. The last thing we need is a pandemic of stray cats. In case you hadn't already guessed, Coco is a work of fiction. As described in the fictional trailer, Coco is an AI powered wearable and application that detects when you are drunk, stressed and caffeinated with the aim of improving your wellness. Using design fiction as world building through the format of a fictional paper, we could explore how people would use these sensors and provoke discussion around whether these sensors should exist and what other sensors could exist before they are implemented in everyday technologies. The fictional paper discusses some of these points through a user study with different users of Coco, like Gabrielle and his cat Pickle. Exploring these challenges through different user experiences, we could highlight a range of benefits and problems with machine learning in health tracking systems, especially when encoding context. Some of these benefits could be the personalized notifications increasing an individual's motivation to take care of their own health and well-being, such as one character, Philip, who used the stress notifications to remind him to relax by going for a run. Or, as we saw in the trailer, Gabriel's awareness of his caffeine levels could temporarily decrease his stress levels. However, we could also see the many dangers of using these systems, many relating to the complexities of context-aware computing, such as Coco mistaking one user for being constantly drunk when she actually worked in a bar, or being able to tell the difference between professional and leisure activities, like Jason missing staff meetings to reduce stress, which also had unintended consequences, like a meeting with the head teacher that increased stress a lot more. Or it could also be something much more severe, like mistaking Mark's speech impediment for drunkenness because of alg algorithmic bias. So what can we learn from using design fiction to explore the challenges with applying machine learning in context-aware systems? Firstly, how context is complicated, not just modeling context, but also the unpredictability of human behavior in different situations. Secondly, how these models might be applied and used in near future technologies and systems, especially for exploring many possible contexts where these sensors might be used. And given this, why speculative and future focused research, such as design fiction, should be used for exploring similar HCI challenges before these systems are implemented. Thank you for listening and any questions. <laughs>